the first chapter in the class 8 syllabus is rational numbers. Now, before we define what a rational number is, let us try to understand what are the other number systems. We start with whole numbers. Now, whole numbers are numbers which start from 0. So, here we have a series of numbers starting from 0, goes on to 1, 2, 3 and up to infinity. Infinity means it is never ending. So, we have 0, 1 followed by n numbers up to infinity. Then we have natural numbers. Now, natural numbers are numbers which start from 1 and goes up to infinity. So, natural numbers are numbers which starts from 1. So, we have 1, 2, 3 and it goes on up to infinity. Now, whether we look at whole numbers or natural numbers, at the moment there are no negative numbers. So, we find that this is starting from 0 and the rest are all positive numbers and these are all positive numbers starting from 1 and goes right up to infinity. Then we come to integers. Now, integers also includes negative numbers. So, you have from minus infinity to positive infinity. So, you have negative numbers, you have 0 in between and followed by positive numbers. So, this is the integers. So, we should know what are whole numbers, what are natural numbers and what are integers. Now, once we know these, we come to our topic that is rational numbers. Now, rational numbers are numbers which can be expressed in the form of P upon Q. So, rational numbers are numbers which can be expressed in the form of P upon Q. Now, what does P and Q represent? P and Q are numbers, but Q should not be equal to 0. Now, P and Q can be any number, but Q should not be equal to 0. So, we can have any fraction 1 by 2, 3 by 5, 7 by 8, all these are rational numbers. But when we take 3 upon 0, it is not a rational number because it is impossible for us to divide any number by 0 because the result is infinity or not defined. So, except for this case where the denominator is 0, all other fractions can be considered as rational numbers.